helps. All right. All right, so thank you everybody for staying. Uh, my name is Jason Pendo from Interlink One. So just in case you don't know the man that did the social media presentation, John Foley is my boss. So if you anything about the energy you saw him today, I've lived with that for 11 years. So hopefully I can talk him a little bit. But because it is the end of the day, I was like, I'm gonna need, I brought a few props, but I'm like, I'm gonna need something spectacular, special to make people wanna stay for the last half hour, 45 minutes. So what I thought about, always seems to work for me, is I brought some beer. So looking at the crowd, we got left, maybe we do a little sip, sip, pass or something. <laughs> <laughs> it actually might last. But, so I just wanted to start with that because you can see the label, but then obviously there's a little QR code on it. And so the whole thing with QR codes and why we're so excited is because everything that gets printed whether it's a postcard, whether it's a brochure, whether it's something that you ship or mail, whether it's something, whatever people see that has something printed on it, that might, you might have a benefit by putting a QR code on it. And has anyone out there seen how they work or tried one themselves? Yeah. Okay, so you can definitely think a volunteer, someone wants to try it. Alec, you wanna try it? Come up here. And I'll go through a couple of the different ways that QR codes do work. But so primarily, you're gonna want a phone with a camera or a webcam, say. But primarily to me, QR codes are gonna work because so many people have iPhones, Blackberries, Droids, they've got the smartphones. And so what you wanna do, no, 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 you wanna be there. And so I'll walk through the way it works, but so there's an application that lets you read QR codes. And so if you click on a quick mark, that's one of my favorite ones, like Danny Orange. What's it called? Quick Mark. I don't know, I've never had that problem. My phone is calculated by nails, so. And so all Quick Mark is, is pretty much just a camera, but it's a software that'll actually read what the heck is in that code. And so if you just, yeah, so there you go. And so that's gonna put you in camera mode. Then if you just point <coughs> that at the code, And so what that does is it detects, okay, what's in that code? And so it might be, because it used, yep. Yeah. Oh, the nails again. <laughs> no problem, thank you for trying. <laughs> I don't know. It's a nice consolation. I know. My hands are great though. Sorry, you don't get the beer. I don't get the beer. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. So. Oh, did it not even work? No, I did.
And then I'm going to actually show examples, right? Because a lot of people are saying, well, is anyone actually using it? I promise they are. Uh, it's more and more. And hopefully after this discussion, I bet you'll start seeing them in magazines and other places. So what is it? And the last presentation about BDP, they showed some of the beautiful pictures and things that you can put on cards. I'm not going to say that a QR code is the most beautiful thing that you might put on a printed piece. But what I will show you is the, the power that it can put to a printed piece and that there are actually some creative options. They've actually been around for a lot longer than many people know. It's a manufacturing company from Japan and they had a specific need to put barcodes on pieces and be able to get information. And so in 1994, they created it for themselves. But ever since then, they've made their way into the marketing and business world. To make them, this is really just a basic example. But all it is, is it's just data, right? So a barcode holds what? An order number, a product ID. Maybe that's what we're used to. This, as a two-dimensional barcode, it can hold a lot more data. So thousands of characters. And one of the primary ways that QR codes might be able to help you and your customers is to take people from a printed piece to their website. So in this case, right, you typed in interlink1.com, hit get your code, and that's what that barcode stands for. If you were to scan that right from the screen if you wanted to, that's where it's gonna take you to on your phone. And so that's just one way is for QR codes to go to the web. Obviously with video, right, so we have the flips around place today, more and more people are putting things up on YouTube. Maybe it's a, a how-to guide based on something that you guys might ship for somebody, or whatever it is. That could be a YouTube address. That could be your Twitter ID, right? So if you want people to go to your Twitter page, maybe you put it on your business card, or a t-shirt, or whatever, whatever you might have to give the people. Um, a few more options, which hopefully you can see. Um, the email address, it could be just a text message. And I've seen a lot of printers use that. So rather than drive people to the web, just giving a little code, <coughs> um, or a business card. And so hopefully you won't be afraid to take our business cards at the end. But this is probably the easiest way to start with QR codes. And so here in our business cards, we've got two different codes. Um, one, the one on the front, if you were to scan that with your phone and your QR code reader, it'll actually bring up all of my information but then it will give you a little button that says add to contacts. And so all you got to do is just click that button and then boom, they're in your iPhone as a contact. Who created the, the QR code for you? Okay, so we're obviously a software company. And so a few years ago, this man over there, the boss, <laughs> said QR codes, huge in Japan, starting to make waves. He Europe. plugs me a lot. <laughs> and so he got our programmers in here, and so we made a little <laughs> application. Making QR codes is so you can do that on Facebook, just started introducing it last week a little bit, a little option to create a QR code. You can do it for free anywhere. Certainly, try, we have our site is createandtrack.com, and you literally have that interface, and you can go create business card QR codes tomorrow. Uh, but the, the other way on the business card is this one will go to our website. So that way, it's just one way to either give people the contact info and then drive them to the website, maybe from the back. What does it do? Well, so basically that's the whole point. It's the phone points to the code, the software decodes it, and then it shows the website or the video right on the phone. And this, I think, is what, a simple chart. 